Let's welcome Dee Lu, Senior Product Manager at Tech Matters. Dee has experience building software as a service or SaaS business software after working at Yext, a New York based technology company, and has worked on pro bono projects for international social enterprises as a past fellow of the Moving World Institute. Dee is based in New York City. Hi, everyone. Uh, so, my name is Dee, um, and I am a Senior Product Manager at Tech Matters. Um, I'm here today to talk about Asalo, um, a modern contact center platform developed by Tech Matters in partnership with the Child Helpline movement. Across the world, uh, child helplines receive over 25 million calls annually, and over 30% of calls can go unanswered due to lack of resources. We realized um, that most helplines have data technology solutions and still primarily focus on voice calls while kids are moving online more and more to social media. So while each helpline that we meet has their own operating philosophies, the commonality of their work means there's a lot of opportunity to provide a technology solution that can be shared across helplines while still being flexible enough to be customized to each helpline's needs. Our role in building a silo is to provide helpline partners with the tech tools to make the crisis response movement more powerful. Okay, so onto the demo. Um, a silo is browser-based, so helpline staff can log on for their shifts from any location with an internet connection. With a silo, callers can reach out to the helpline using their preferred communication channels across voice and supported text-based channels. The single pane interface, which is what you're seeing here, is designed so that counselors can view incoming voice and text conversations across channels, manage active conversations with a simple chat window, and capture data about the caller all in one unified place. We built several efficiency tools to give counselors more time to focus on active counseling. For example, um, we have a chat bot, which you can see in that active conversation pane in the middle, um, that captures basic demographics graphic information from the caller and auto-populates the data forms from that information collected. Counselors can choose from a list of customized canned responses set by their helpline management and instances where the helpline has preset messaging for how to answer frequently asked questions. We also automatically flag to the counselor if a, chat, a call or chat has come in previously from a user. Uh, you can see that in that uh, little yellow banner across the top right-hand pane. Um, and so we'll flag that based on an identifier such as phone number or Facebook user ID um, and counselors can easily look back at previous data records for that contact. In the rightmost pane, you'll see that data collection is built right into a silo so that counselors can capture the information they need while in conversation with a caller. We work with each helpline to customize which data fields they want to capture, which fields are required, and what the input options are. For helplines that need case management, uh, we have an optional case management module that allows counselors to create case records, keeping all necessary information in one place. For each case, a counselor can record internal notes, external referrals, reported incidents, and documents such as filed reports. And then once a conversation has ended, the counselor will save the record. Helplines can then choose to trigger our customizable post-conversation survey which allows them to collect feedback on the quality of service they received and aggregate that feedback into reports. Switching over now to supervisor capabilities, a silo is designed to give helpline management extensive tools to view and report on their team's operations. A silo provides two main sets of reporting dashboards for management teams to report on operational and programmatic trends of their helpline. Helpline operational dashboards show call center activity tracking counselor call time statistics and abandoned call volumes. Programmatic dashboards are built from a standard reporting framework and give helpline managers insight into the types of calls they're getting. This screenshot shows a breakdown of incoming calls by category of the call and the flexible filters across the top allow you to slice and dice the data so helpline management can see what types of calls are coming in for specific demographic groups. Beyond that, there are many more optional and customizable features that are worth calling out in Asalo. For example, the Asalo interface can be translated into the helpline's preferred local language. We can work with the helpline to set up automated messaging for operating hours, welcome and goodbye messages, and data collection consent. We can configure IVR and ITR triaging based on the service requested or the caller's preferred language. We have integrations with local reporting portals for reporting child sexual abuse material online. 
And lastly, we are expanding support to other types of crisis response helplines, such as gender-based violence lines and online abuse reporting hotlines. We are building Asalo as a modern open source platform to strengthen the crisis response movement. If you have any questions about the Asalo platform or if you run a crisis response helpline that might be interested in adopting Asalo, please reach out to us at contact at or visit our website at asalo.org. Thank you.